for our final presenter. Hear me. Good evening. Uh, this is the final presentation, so uh, I'm sure you're uh, maybe a little bit excited about that. Uh, so again, my name is Mike Ross, Predictive Loyalty Management, and I'm excited to be able to share with you the integration of software tools and industry expertise with the purpose of predicting customer loss before it happens. Um, oh, there we go. Thank you. So, um, you probably all know good relationships are built upon trust. And what's interesting is that trust is one of the most expensive commodities in the world because it can take a lifetime to build, but just a moment to destroy, not only in your personal life, but also in your business. So that's what PLM is built upon, the importance of protecting that most valuable commodity, which is trust. Now all of us know that customer revenue is the lifeblood of every business, yet it's interesting that every uh, businesses every day lose their top customers. So let me ask you a little bit of a question. How important and what would it be worth to you to be able to know that your top customers will remain loyal to you? over a long period of time. I think that would be pretty important. Now one of the things that's interesting, we all go to the doctor from time to time and probably don't necessarily like that, but we're monitoring some health indicators, blood pressure, uh, BMI, cholesterol, those kinds of things. And it's also very important in business to monitor business health indicators. So with that, what's interesting, there is a cost associated with uh, maintaining and monitoring those business health indicators. But we all can recognize that the cost of losing a customer is far greater, both in terms of dollars and in terms of anxiety. PLM is really three things. Number one, it enables you to prevent customer loss. I'm hoping people will understand that little smoky bear thing there. I might be dating myself a little bit. Um, secondly, it's a set of predictive tools based upon a mathematical algorithm. And then number three, it provides access to world-class web-based platforms and professional services to take action on what PLM uncovers. So let's talk about how PLM works. This is a typical kind of sales forecast. Um, you can see that sales are steady and going up. You think, wow, they like this good. Uh, in fact, if we drill a little bit deeper, we would see that the number of deals are going up. And you'd say, hey, life is great. But what's interesting, what if I told you that that red line that's going down is the way that your customers are feeling about the way that they're doing business with you. That might be a little bit intimidating, right? So PLM uses a set of uh, predictive indicators based upon typical CRM tools, and it also provides a survey kind of validation. So all of you have credit cards. It's a similar kind of thing. Credit card companies monitor uh, purchasing patterns, and if there's one that goes outside of that pattern, then they'll call you to validate uh, did you really make this purchase? PLM, we're integrating with a number of obviously world-class platforms working very closely with Salesforce.com. We're entering a market, the CRM market, which is a $20 billion market. So we feel very, uh, very pleased with that. We're also supported by best practices management consulting so that when PLM uncovers uh, certain issues, then uh, we have a consultative team that can come in and help you address each of those issues. We're based upon a uh, freemium platform, uh, free, and then obviously as you go up, uh, you're able to access uh, best practices, resources, and consultative kinds of services. So in summary, we provide predictive insights to prevent customer loss, uh, easy to understand tools, best practices, consulting services, and leverage existing platforms. 
this is our leadership team. Uh, we're a fairly experienced team. We're all former executives at a Fortune 500 company, and uh, so we bring a lot of experience to bear. And then finally, uh, I've given the judges our uh, kind of preliminary summarized uh, uh, financial projections, but we do project within a five-year period of time uh, to reach $7 million. So 